Alrighty, so this is going to be a quick video showing you how the we used to traditionally patch ROMs. Some ROMs would have patches that came with it and a, an actual patcher that would come with it. You don't really see that much anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our ROM, which is somewhere in our hard drive. So for me, it's through here and 64 ROMs. Let's look for, let's look at Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, Mods and Hacks, 1.0 ROM. Now we have one that is .z64 and one that is .n64. These are different. These are both 1.0, they're Z64 and N64, and they're, even though if you play them, you might not notice it, but the way they behave is a little bit different. And usually the patches will tell you, oh, you need .N64 or .Z64. So that's gonna be the hardest part for you to get is a 1.0 ROM that's both of those .Z64 and .N64 because different, different patches need different ROMs. This one needs .Z64. So we're gonna put .Z64 up here in the top in the ROM file. In the patch file, we're gonna go back to where our hacks are, our patches, the .BPS files usually is what they are. And we're going to select one. The one that, Indigo, let's look at Indigo. Here is a version 0.1.9 patch that I got. Oh my gosh, from years ago, 2022, right? This checks out, so it should work. Apply patch, boom, there it is, right? If it's not going to work, if I put, let's see, let's see if I can put .n64, right? Here's .n64. Source ROM checksum mixed match. So it will not work with a .n64 ROM for this one, but that might work for another one or another a different ROM that we had that I had or a different patch that I had. So again, if you want to do the Indigo, you need .z64, and usually the people that that created the patch will say it. We get the check mark, apply patch, you're good to go. All right, do it again just for giggles. Boom, there it is. Getting the .z64 and the .n64, if you are somebody that enjoys uh, playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM hacks, is essential. You need to have the right version of the game. There are some that even require like the debug ROM, and you just deal with those as you can. You know, you 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 use your you use your resources to find what you need when you need it. All right. So I hope this explained uh, how to patch your Ocarina of Time ROM. And we're just going to show that this actually works. We'll double click it. We'll see if it shows up. It might not show up on parallel. There it is. Boom. It looks like Master Quest, but it's actually going to be the Indigo patch. Boom. All right. This is definitely not Master Quest. All right. Now it looks kind of jank. I think they wanted Project 64 3.0. Uh, it looks a little bit janky in parallel, but that's okay. It's probably not the correct plugin setup. All right, so there it is. It works. Use your .z64 ROM for that patch, all right? Bye.